Creedence Clearwater Revival. Does this bring back memories? Um, the first albums, not even albums, the first singles I had, I was 12 years old, 13 years old maybe, and had just started buying my own, you know, 45s for, I don't know, 15 cents, who knows what they were. But Creedence was cool because um, you got two songs for the price of one. They were the double-sided singles, you know, Proud Mary, Born on the Bayou, that kind of stuff. And uh, their third album, Green River, had this on it, Bad Moon Rising, which was on the flip. Three chords. This is all you need for Bad Moon Rising. D, G, and A. Let me just go over really quickly the fingerings I like for those chords. D, the way you pretty much see it in every book. First finger on A, third finger on D, second finger on F sharp. Um, again, always keep your fingers as close to the frets as possible. If you're not getting good clean sounds out of these, don't, make, don't let the notes be back here. Make sure you're at the fret, right behind the fret. So there's the fingering for a D chord. For G, your third finger leads you to a G chord. You get down here on the bass note, you get your second finger in there on the fifth string, and your fourth finger up here on the first string. Then to an A chord, your first finger leads you to an A chord. It lands right there, a little extra space behind the fret so that your second and third fingers can get your second finger on the fourth string, your third finger on the second string. 